Hi, today I will uh, explain about optimality theory. What does optimality theory means? Before I explain further, let me introduce myself. My name is Maria Clara Timorina Situmora. As one of uh, the student postgraduate from English Department, University of North Sumatra. So back to the first question. What does optimality means? Okay, before I explain further, I have a question. Have you ever heard about spleen of tongue? I'm sure you ever heard, or maybe it happens with us. Okay. Today, I will not explain from the phonological rules or structure itself, but I will explain from the optimality theory uh, perspective. So what does optimality theory meaning? So basically, optimality theory, or it is abbreviation as OT, is a general theory of cross-linguistic variation and a formal theory of linguistic typology. So we're back to the optimality theory. Optimality theory or OT uh, was found and introduced by Alan Prince and Paul Small Sky 1993. So they introduced the framework of linguistic analysis. They also create a book which the title Constraint Interaction in Generative Grammar. So move to 1999. Kager came to develop the entire level of optimality theory. He gave an entire level introduction to optimality theory. Again, Kager also created a book which the title Optimality Theory. And move to 2001, Prince and John M. Shardy came to explain and concretize optimality theory. So they create a book which the title, Doing Optimality Theory. So here are the experts who developed the optimality theory as the first founder of the optimality theory, Alan Prince and also Paul Small and Sky. So when we talk about OT, it is not only talk about from the phonological linguistic itself. It is also studied from many linguistic areas, chess, morphology, syntax, pragmatics, language acquisition, and also sociolinguistic. So what is the purpose of OT? So here, to hold the language have a set constraints which produce the basic phonological and grammatical patterns of the particular language. So as I explained before, if we talk about uh, OT or optimality theory, it is not focused on the base of the rule itself, but it is more about constraint base. So when we talk about constraints, there are all the constraints in OT. There are four. First is universal in nature. The second is phonological grounder. The third is bio-label. And the fourth is freely rankable. So here are the major components of optimality theory. So the first is lex or lexicon. Lexical representation or underlying forms input to generator. The second is gen or generator. It takes input from the lexicon and produces candidates. Uh, the output forms input to the elevator. Theoretically, gen creates possibly infinite set of the candidates. So here in gen, there will be some candidates. Candidate one, two, three, and four. So it will move to evolve or evaluation uh, to choose the optimal candidate based on the hierarchical ranking of constraints. It accomplished its goal with the assessment of the severity and number of violations by the candidates. 
the last is con or constraint. So this is the process structural requirement that may be either be satisfied or violated by an output from a marketness constraints and petwillness constraints. So here is the table of the graphic representation of OT structure. It comes from the input or we call it uh, as lexicon, move to generator. As I explained before, in here, generator, there will be some candidate of the words. Candidate one, two, three, and four. Then it will be processed by evaluation. It will be evaluated which candidate, the optimal uh, theory that will be used as the output here or constraint. So we will see the next. There are two types of constraints if we talk about. Um, OT, yes, we will talk about constraints. There are two. First is marketness. What does it mean? Marketness is the constraints that either demand and unmark configurations or prohibit mark configuration. And the second is faithfulness. It is, um, okay, wait a second. It is understood as the combined grammatical factors that preserve the lexical constraints, uh, I mean constructs, the faithfulness constraints demand similarity between input and output or the candidates. And as the additional information here for the faithfulness, we have to know the category of the faithfulness here. There are uh, the output uh, must present all segments in the import. And the second is uh, output segments must have counterparts in the import. And the third is the output must present the linear order of segments in the input. That's about uh, faithfulness. Okay, this is the example of uh, OT. I'll take the example of egg. Uh, we can see the input or the lexicon here. There are some candidate here, the first, second, the third, and the fourth candidate. So from the um, maximum, EO, DAP, EO, agree, ident, EO, or vice. Agree here is the categorized of marketness, while the faithfulness here is max, DAP, and also indent. As the example here, ag. The third, I mean the second, the third, and the fourth candidate, it is categorized as fatal because they are fatal in DAP EO, max EO, and DAP EO. So the maximum, the optimal candidate here is the first act because we cannot find which uh, from the max, uh, DAP, agree, and also in that itself. So this is the best optimal. Uh, OT for the input of X. Okay, this is the example from uh, another languages. I take the example from Bahasa Indonesia. As the input here, or the word here is Bhakti. So for the first, second, and third, and fourth candidate, there are Bhakti, 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 and the last is hakti. From the example, we can say that the, the correct OT here is the first because the third, uh, the second, and the fourth, it is, I mean, the meaning, it is quite far from the original words bhakti. So there are the process here from the max EO, DAP EO, agree, or I then eat a voice. So the most optimal uh, output here or evaluation here is the first bhakti. It is most uh, the most correct uh, OT process here. Okay, now we move to the conclusion. What is the conclusion of the OT itself? So optimality theory is considered 
on of the most important development in generative model of language. And OT tries to explain the commonalities by proposing a universal set of constraints. So basically, if there is a conversation and there is the pronunciation which is not really seen as the original uh, words itself, as long as the speaker able uh, to understand the words, it is, it is acceptable. But if the words pr produce far from the meaning or the original word itself, it is violable or maybe it is fatal, it is not categorized as op OT or optimal theory. So OT come to help us to analyze which the maximum or the optimal uh, produce of the words itself. So I hope this explanation will help us to understand more about OT itself. Thank you and goodbye.